before you start using tools like the keyframer or the multiplane camera tool in the effects stack from TV Paint, you need to understand some basics about how those things work, how to set keyframes, uh, the whole concept of the effects stack and the keyframer. So I would advise you to go to the TV Paint website and go through the lessons that they have in their user manual so that you're under understanding the basics of how this tool works. I'm going to run through this very quickly uh, with the background that we've been using for these demonstrations. I've merged it onto a single layer just to make it a little simpler. So I'll open the effects stack as usual. I've already set my camera view and we're going to go down to motion keyframer. So the first frame is this centered view starting on the background. So I want to have that be my start. So I have to hit this little keyframe icon, which is to create a keyframe. And you see it created the keyframe under the first frame. Wherever I have the um, timeline set, it'll set a keyframe. If I want to delete a keyframe, just right click on it, delete, confirm. You could also delete it from here by clicking on the key again, and you see that it got rid of the keyframe. But I'm going to set that on the first frame and then advance to the last frame, frame 120. And now I'm going to set my camera move, my final field. I'm going to zoom in and move over slightly and up slightly. So this is my final field. And if you scrub over the timeline, you get a preview of the move. So I've set a, a first keyframe under frame one and a last keyframe under frame 120. Now you can alter this and set a new keyframe. If I were to move up slightly here, I've set a new keyframe at frame 58. And so now this is what the, the move is going to do. Kind of does a, now that's probably not a very elegant move. I, I probably would not do that. So what I would do is change the position to spline. And that's going to give me these uh, handles, which would allow me to put a curve on the move. So depending on where I've started it, so that's that's another thing you can do is you can actually have your your camera move in the keyframer following uh, a different path, a different curve. Depending on you know you can get this would look sort of ridiculous, but I'll just do it anyway. So now you're getting this sort of up and down movement like a roller coaster but you might have a need for that in a certain you know situation now here it doesn't work because you can see it actually goes off the edge of the artwork so I would either have to paint out the artwork larger to compensate for that or change the move but I'm just showing you this as an example so I'm actually going to get rid of these points and go back to just our, our simple camera move. Put this back on linear mode. And I would say on most camera moves like this, you're going to want to activate this uh, speed profile and change that to spline mode. And so you can set a slow in and a slow out at the beginning and end of the move. So it's it's uh, got a little more cushion on it going into and out of the move. So when you're happy with that, what you need to do is make sure that you've uh, selected all the frames that you want it applied to. So you select all, uh, you right click, 
and select all, or the shortcut is control A. So now you can see all the frames have been selected. There's a keyframe on the first frame and a keyframe on the last frame. Now I want to have the uh, it applied to the current layer, the selection, and in this case I want it applied on the frames. Because it's going to be a continuous move from frame 1 to frame 120. Then you just hit apply effect stack. So that's the important thing that sometimes people forget when they first start using these tools is they forget to select all the frames and then they forget to apply it. Let me show you what happens. I'm going to undo that. So we've got this uh, got this move in here, and if I forget to apply it, or I only have have it set to the first frame, and I hit apply, then I close the effect stack. Nothing happened. You see, and that sometimes that trips people up. They're they're like, what? Why didn't it show the move? Because when then when they go back into the effect stack, they see the move. It's there what happened is they forgot to apply it to all the frames so they need to select all and then apply the effect stack and that renders the camera move okay so that that is something you need to do whether you're uh, using the keyframer tool or the multiplane camera tool or any of the other tools in the effect stack uh, when you apply an effect to a layer you need to set the keyframes that define the parameters of the effect, how long the effect lasts, uh, the strength of the effect, and then how many frames it's applied to.